time to be happy is now. The place to be happy is here. And the way to be happy is to share a little story and in a little world of love. Hello, little ones and not so little ones. I'm back today with yet another lovely story for you all. Ready to listen to me? Yeah. Okay. So, in a far away mountain land, Many, many, many years ago, they lived a little boy, just like you, and like you, and like you. They lived a very little boy, such a nice boy he was, and he lived with his very intelligent, very wise, and very beautiful mama. Yeah, just like your mamas, right? Okay, so the mother and the son were very, very poor. They had just a little bit of money, just to eat and just to survive. But you know what? Even with that little money that she had, the mama always used to share. Even if she had one apple, she used to share a fourth, one fourth of an apple with somebody. And, bed. and the little boy used to ask her, Mama, why do you always give away things to people? And the mama used to say, little boy. Please understand, you are going to get richer when you share. And the little boy always decided to share whatever he had. So, uh, the little boy and his mama had a small patch of land. And mama said, little boy, shall we grow something on this patch of land? And the little boy said, yee, I love growing things, mama. Let's do that. And then Mama said, Okay, what shall we grow? The little boy said, mm, Potatoes. Mama said, mm, Not such a wise thing. Little boy said, Tomatoes. Ladies' fingers. Brinjal. And Mama, for everything, said, mm, Not such a wise idea. And finally, she said, little boy you know what we are going to grow these what are these the red chilies mama said we're going to grow red chilies and little boy just like you all said no i don't like red chilies they're very spicy but mama said little boy you know what for every plant, you get hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of red chilies. So growing red chilies can get us lots of money. Why she is, isn't it? So the little boy said, I love the idea. Let's do that. So, um, now tell me, when you want to grow something, what you need to do first? Yeah, prepare the land. So the little boy and his mama dug, 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 dug the whole land. And then they got the seeds. Now tell me, if you want to grow chilies, chili plants, what seeds do you plant? Mango? <laughs> no, right? You grow chili plants. To grow chili plants, you need chili seeds. Mama went to the market and got the best chili seeds. So... Mama and the little boy sowed all the chili seeds right from the morning to the afternoon to the evening. They sowed the seeds and they, you know, prepared the night. And that night it rained, it rained, it rained. Chum, 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 It rained and it rained and the next day, the little boy came running to check whether the plant has come out. Does the plant come out the next day after you saw it? It doesn't, right? So the first day, the second day, the third day, the fourth day and the fifth day, there was no plant. And the little boy was very, very sad. On the sixth day, 
early in the morning when the little boy woke up and he came out he saw little 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 what plants did he see hmm chili plants he saw little little chili plants all you know nicely shaking in the breeze he was so excited so every day he started watering the little plants weeding removing all the unnecessary plants weeding the plants and he took very good care and slowly after 10 days 15 days 20 days 25 days the plants grew they grew bigger they grew much bigger they grew much bigger and they grew this big and on every single plant there was such a small 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 baby chilies and the little girl ran to his mama and he said mama there are like baby chilies shall we pluck them and the wise mama said no they are not yet ready okay so again for a week he waited for 10 days he waited and all the chilies became nice and long and ready to be plucked so each plant had hundreds and hundreds of chilies the the, the plot was you know full of chilies and the the flavor of chilies and then one day mama said it's time to pluck so the little boy picked up a big basket and mama picked up a big basket too and she and both of them plucked and put all the chilies into the baskets and then mama said the little boy said mama shall we shall we sell the chilies and then mama said mm -hmm. the chilies are not yet ready you need to dry them so they took a huge long big sari of mama's they spread it on the floor and they spread all the chilies and they dried the chilies for one day two days three days four days and five days under the sun the sun shone bright and the chilies became absolutely red and dry like these chilies then mama said now it's time to make some chili powder so you know now when we want to make chili powder what does your mama do she puts it in the mixer and runs it and the chili powder is ready right but those days there were no mixers at all so they took a pestle and a mortar and they put all the chilies in the pestle and the mortar and they powder saying tak 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 and then mama took a spoon and mixed it up saying tr 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 and when they were mixing it and when the the, the chili powder flew out they started sneezing hachu 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 and then finally they powdered and powdered and powdered and powdered from morning to afternoon and afternoon to evening and evening to the night and there there were it was ready bags and bags and bags of chili powder nice bags of chili powder red chili powder spicy chili powder all ready for the market now the next day mama picked up the bags of chili powder put them on her head and she was off to the market and while she was walking she thought my little son he helped me so much i need to make him happy so she called the little boy little boy little boy and the little boy came running to his mama mama said little boy i am going to the market and i can get you a gift for all the hard work that you have put in do you want a gift and now children tell me when your mama says do you want a gift what will you say will you say um no thank you or will you say yay i want a gift i want a gift i want a gift yeah that's exactly what the little boy said he said yay i want a gift mama please get me a gift and 
then the mama said yeah i will but what gift can i get you the little boy said mama i have been wanting a drum mama said drum little boy said yeah mama on which i can play dumak dumma dumak dumma dumak dumma dumak dumma i want a drum mama on which i can play some music the mama was a little disappointed she said um i'll get the drum if i have the money and she walked away to the market with the bags of chili powder on her head and in the meanwhile the little boy was so excited why do you think he was excited because he was hoping that he was going to get what a drum a beautiful drum like this which he had seen in the mela he said um i'm so happy i'm going to play the drum and she started singing 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 saying tadi dum tadi dum i like to play the drum tadi dum tadi dum a drum or i'll become tadi dum tadi dum i will sing along tadi dum tadi dum you can sing along and he was so excited he singing and singing and dancing and dancing and dancing in the meanwhile mama reached the market she sold all the chili powder and with the money that she got she bought some rice she bought some wheat she bought some um chili powder she bought some vegetables and she bought some sugar and with that she finished all the money that she had earned and she had not a rupee left to buy the drum for her son and she was very very sad but what can she do she had to survive right so she started walking back and walking back she had to walk through a forest and while she was walking under a huge tree and there was lot of breeze and while she was walking she heard some sounds and what sort of sound did she hear she heard sounds like why why to why to why she looked up and she saw she was under a tree i told you right and and when she, when she was under the tree she heard this sound to why to why to why and she looked up and she found a stick hanging from the tree and while it was moving it was making a noise toy toy she said arre this looks very interesting uh, i could pick up a stick a, a drum for my son so maybe i'll climb up and get this for him so she climbed up the tree she broke the stick from the branch and she got down carefully and she walked back home and as she walked back home she saw that the sun was so excited he was singing tadi dum tadi dum i like to play the drum tadi dum tadi dum a drummer i'll become and when he saw his mama he said mama's coming back home i'm sure she's got a gift for me he ran to his mama and he said mama where's my gift and mama said i'll give you the gift close your eyes then he closed his eyes put his hands forward and then mama placed the stick in his hand he he looked and he was so sad he said this is not what i wanted and then mama said are you don't know about this this is such a beautiful magical stick it makes lots of music you know the boy said how can a stick make a music it's not even a drum it's not even a flute how can it make any music mama said if you hit it on a piece of wood it makes and you know what if you hit it on a rain the railing if you run it through a railing it says do 
Isn't it so much fun? And the little boy tried it out. He started playing. He said, yeah, I love this stick. I'm going to show it to my friends, Mama. I'll go out and come back. And he started going on the road. While he was going on the road, he, you know, somewhere on the road, right next to his house, uh, outside a farmer's house, the farmer's old farmer's wife was standing all bent with all teeth gone. You know, she, her body was all bent. She was very old. She was standing outside and looking into the road, saying, Hey, Bhagwan, when are you going to come to help me? And the little boy, with his dick, chik -dick, chik -dick, chik -dick, chik -dick, chik -dick, chik he ran to her and said, Dadi Amma, what are you looking at? Where are you looking? And what are you waiting for? And Dadi Amma said, um, Actually, I am waiting for God to come and help me. And the little boy said, God, why will he come and help you, Dadi Amma? And Dadi Amma said, Beta, my husband has fever. He can't get off the bed. And I am so weak, I can't cut wood from the trees. I need some wood to cook my lunch. We are hungry and we don't have anybody to help us out. We need some wood. And the little boy thought for a minute. He said, you need some wood, right? And the grandmother said, yeah, I need some wood to cook my food. And the little boy said, see here, I have some wood. Why don't you use this? And Daddy Emma said, Are, that is your favorite piece of, it's a musical instrument for you, right? How can I use that? But the little boy said, it's okay, Grandma. Take it and use it. <coughs> and the grandmother said, are you sure? And the little boy said, of course I'm sure. Use it. It's important now that you get some food. So the grandmother took it. She broke it into two pieces and she put it in her stove and she lit the stove and the stove started burning. <laughs> she said, you help me so much. You wait for a minute. I'm going to give you something. And then she put a tawa on the stove. She made some atta, she rolled the atta, she made some nice chapati with some butter and lots and lots of sugar and she folded it nicely and gave it to the little boy. She said, <clears throat> that's for you to eat. Did you see children? By sharing, the little boy became richer. He has a nice warm roti in his pocket and he started running to still meet his friends. And then he was singing ta da da 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 And suddenly he heard somebody cry. He looked this way and he looked that way and he found a little baby and his mother trying to comfort the little baby. Shh! Shh, and the baby was going on crying. Wah, 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 wah. Why do you think the little baby was crying, children? Yeah, the little baby was very hungry. The boy went to the mother and said, Auntie, why is the little baby crying? The mother said, You know, I am a potter. I have so many pots. But I couldn't sell a single pot since the morning and I don't have money to buy any food. My boy is hungry. And the little boy said, Okay, don't worry. I have something to give your little baby. So, does he have anything to give the little baby? Yeah, he's got the... Yeah, he's got the roti. He took out the roti. He fed the little baby. The little baby was like, Wah! Wah! Oh, and the moment he put a piece of roti, nice sweet buttery roti, he started eating it up and he jumped onto the little boy and took away the remaining piece of the roti too. And the boy, do you think the boy felt sad? 
No, he didn't feel sad at all. And the little baby was also very happy. So the baby's mama, you know, she said, uh, little boy, I'm so thankful to you. You helped me a lot today. So in return, I'm going to give you a pot. I'm a potter's wife. I don't have anything else. I have a beautiful pot for you. Now you take this pot and use it whichever way you want. And you know how the little boy used it. He played on the pot, used it as a drum and he was just happily running, 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 saying taddy dum, taddy dum, taddy dum, taddy dum, taddy dum, taddy dum. And then he met a dhobi. The dhobi looked at the beautiful pot and he said to the little boy, Hey little boy, I broke my pot this morning. Why don't you give me this pot? I'm going to give you something different. And the little boy said, Why do you need my pot? And the dhobi said, I need to wash a lot of clothes. I don't have a pot now. Why don't you share your pot with me? And the little boy said, Okay, I don't mind sharing. You take my pot. And in return, the Toby gave him <clears throat> a beautiful shirt. He said, thank you so much for helping me. Please take this shirt. And the Toby gave the shirt. The little boy loved the shirt. He said, wow, I don't have this color at all. I'm going to use it tomorrow. Thank you so much. And he started again. He ran towards his friend's house singing daddy dum daddy dum la 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 daddy dum and then suddenly he heard something somewhere right next to the river at the corner in the banks of the river at one corner there was an old man sitting with just an underwear and he was shivering <laughs> He was shivering and the little boy looked at the old man. He said he ran to the old man and said, Arre, look at you. What? You're not wearing anything other than a jetty. What happened to you? And look at how you're shivering. And the old man said, little boy, I am a rich merchant. I had lots of jewelry and a, and a very nice dress and all that. But you know what happened? Thieves attacked me in the main, uh, while I was going to the next village and they took away my watches, my chains, my rings and my clothes too. And look at the way I'm shivering. <laughs> and the little boy said, it's okay. Don't worry. I have something for you. And he took out his nice new shirt and gave it to the old man. The old man wore the shirt and said, Ha, ah, you saved my day. I'm going to give you a gift. And the old man slowly walked behind a tree and he brought out a... He brought out his favorite horse. And he said, Little boy, this is my favorite horse. And I'm gifting it to you. And the little boy loved the horse. He jumped on the horse. He thanked the old man and he galloped on the horse saying And suddenly on his way he came across a wedding mandap, a shadi mandap. And you know what? Every time, have you ever been to a shadi? How does everybody, you know, look, they, they look very happy, right, in a shadi. But in this shadi, everybody was sitting like this. The bride was all dressed up. She looked so beautiful, but she was sitting sadly. The bridegroom wore the best of his dresses, but he was also sitting like this. And there were, you know, music players. There was a halwai who made so many sweets and all that. But everybody, nobody was eating. Everybody was sitting and waiting. The little boy jumped off his horse. He ran to his bridegroom and said, Vaya, what happened? Why are you not getting married? And the little the bridegroom said, I need a horse to get married and I don't have a horse. My horse broke its leg. What do I do? <clears throat> the little boy said, Oh, 
that's it. Here I have a horse. Why don't you use my horse? The bridegroom was so happy. He said, are you sure? And the little boy said, of course I'm sure. Why don't you use it? So the bridegroom jumps on the horse. He gallops to the mandap. He gets married to the bride and everybody starts dancing, 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 dancing and they eat, eat, eat all the sweets and you know the drummer and the shenai, pee, 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 doom, 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 doom. Everybody's playing and everybody's dancing. Everybody's very happy. And after that, the bridegroom comes to the little boy and he says, little boy, you saved my day. How can I reward you? Can I give you some money? The little boy uh, uh, said, uh, he looked here, he looked there, and he looked at the drummer. He looked at the drum in the drummer's hands, and he said to the bridegroom, um, can I have the drum, please? And the bridegroom was more than happy to give him a drum. So, ultimately, the little boy got the drum that and he was so very happy. He thanked the bridegroom and he ran back home with his drum playing. And he ran to his mama, showed her the, uh, the drum and said, Mama, finally you got the drum. And then mama said, you got the drum because you were very helpful. Didn't I tell you? A person who shares becomes richer and richer. And that's how the little boy who was always ready to share got whatever he wanted. So the name of the story is the boy who wanted a dum dum dum. This was my favorite story. I hope you liked it too. much.